It's Thursday, August 16th. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, a lot of concern in the South Okanagan over a large plume of smoke that recently rose above the hills west of Penticton. The BC Wildfire Service says it's likely from the complex of fires burning in the Similkameen and not a new fire. Crews are responding to a 50 hectare fire west of Olala as well as a 100 hectare blaze in the remote Coal uh, or Cool Creek area northwest of the Cathedral Provincial Park. There is some smoke relief for some portions of the province, but that relief does not include the Okanagan. The Smoky Skies Bulletin issued Wednesday for the province has been rescinded for Vancouver Island and some central coastal regions. The thick smoke, which has lingered for days, is a result of hundreds of wildfires burning across every region of our province. The smoke is expected to hover over the Okanagan for the next several days. The air quality health index in the Okanagan is 8 or high. If you're feeling the effects of the smoke, Interior Health says face masks may not be the answer. The health authorities cite several reasons to stay away from basic masks, saying they could make it difficult to breathe normally and could be risky for the elderly or people with breathing or heart conditions. IH recommends masks labeled N95 and particulate respirator. Penticton Fire Chief Larry Watkinson has a new beat. He's one of several firefighters sent up north to battle the massive Shovel Lake wildfire. Watkinson is managing the small army of structural protection units sent to the area from municipal departments from across BC. Naramata Fire Chief Tony Travato uh, also left for Burns Lake Thursday with a three-man structural crew. The Regional District of Okanagan Similkameen plans to maintain the status quo on whether or where retail cannabis stores will be allowed in its rural area, at least for now. Board members voted to take the first steps towards allowing cannabis stores in any zone where retail is a permitted use. That decision effectively maintains the Regional District's existing rules. Staff calls that the status quo. A busy and noisy day in downtown Kelowna Thursday. Contractors have been busy pouring about 1,800 cubic meters of concrete for what will be the raft slab for the Ella development on Lawrence Avenue across from our studios. Once complete in early 2020, Ella will be a 20-story mixed-use commercial and residential complex. A 49-year-old Calgary man has been prohibited from driving after he was involved in a collision while under the influence Wednesday night. The incident was caught by a nearby dash cam. Police say breath samples taken from the man indicated he was over the legal driving limit. Police are investigating a report of a young man who exposed himself to a woman on the hike and bike trail in Oliver this morning. RCMP say the incident took place near the Oliver Skate Park at about 10 o'clock. Police believe this is related to a pair of incidents reported last year. They're not your typical thieves. These ones are a lot smaller, cuter, and fluffier than most. And Vernon's Swan Lake nursery land has been the target. Marmots have been spreading or spending their time filling up their stomachs with fresh local produce when Swan Lake nursery land staff have their backs turned. Wise Wildlife Control has trapped a few of the critters and relocated them to Coldstream Ranch. Another day, another restaurant fundraiser for a very good cause. a restaurants across Canada donating $2 from the sale of every burger to the MS Society of Canada. a has raised more than $11 million over the last nine years. And finally... The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, died today at a hospice facility in Detroit from advanced pancreatic cancer. She was 76. Franklin, whose hits include Respect and I Say a Little Prayer, stood as a cultural icon around the globe for decades. Okanagan weather, widespread smoke continues to blanket the Okanagan and will for the foreseeable future. We can expect to see highs in the mid to high 20s throughout the weekend. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, the Okanagan Casino Strike entering week eight with no end in sight. For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.